Hank, I see you're doing well, and I'm happy that both you and your brother are still active in the YouTube community and the communities of nerdiness all around you. Uh, with uh, the comment that you've been uh, screamed at while somebody was going faster than you in a, of course, automobile or a truck while you were on your bike calling you a pussy, well, unfortunately, experience has shown me that most often slang terms being thrown your way uh, or my way, or whichever way, whoever's doing the taunting, usually it, that person is the one that's afraid of seeing themselves as such and likes to project it onto others. Uh, funny that you should mention that because, uh, one, I'm concerned about you riding a bike. <laughs> Not because of you looking like a pussy, because, well, it's your choice, but it's also a safety issue for me with the, the automobiles that are there. Two, uh, get a better helmet. They have other better helmets that are not foam made. They cost a lot more, but they're also much more protective. Uh, three, I hope and pray that you are using the security equipment that goes along with a bike. A side view rear mirror so that you can actually look at the traffic behind you while you're biking so that you can avoid being hit. Um, that's my biggest pet peeve about people that use bikes nowadays sure it's good for the environment sure it saves money sure it means a lot more exercise and sure they, even here in Moncton New Brunswick bike lanes are being installed and the more as the weeks days months pass we see more and more bike lanes being planned but there is one thing that I'm not getting a lot of the uh, cyclists aren't using a lot of the rules of the road uh, for themselves uh, there is a code of conduct and uh, by that I mean an actual law, <laughs> lawfully applicable code of conduct for bicyclists that uh, automo uh, automobilists or pedestrians, well pedestrians is less of an issue, you can, uh, you can get out of someone's way, but uh, drivers like me and uh, uh, people who uh, are enthusiasts in uh, the use of bicycles as a mode of transportation do need to keep themselves up to date with that, be it a motorbike or an actual bicycle. You do need to signal your intention to everyone around you. And don't forget, a bike, as much as it's viewed by many as not a method of transportation, is a legal and lawful method of transportation that is equivalent to an, autom an automobile, moped, motorcycle, you name it. It has a wheel and a fuel source, and it can hurt hitting a pedestrian, period. Um, Apart from that, that's pretty much it, but I, I, I need to ask the following to all of you who actually follow Hank. Have you ever been attacked by that? Uh, the best definition would be road rage by someone else while you're in your lane. You're actually coming down your lane of traffic. There's two lanes of traffic that the so-called... non-denominational person decides to actually cross just as I'm coming down the full speed limit of 50 kilometers an hour and there's less than 20 feet between me and you now I don't know if you've done the math on 20 feet but 50 kilometers an hour means I'm probably gonna hit the guy very fast I have a Yaris it's the equivalent of driving a piece of toilet paper if you're hitting another bigger vehicle which means that I have faith in my airbags, but that's pretty much it. If I survive the impact, and if the car survives the impact, that's even better. In his case, I start honking my horn to give him a warning that he's crossing into my lane and he needs to either A, move fast, or B, get his ass backwards back to where he was. What he does is this. Slams on the brakes. He's in my lane of traffic. He turns facing me and charges at me, playing a game of chicken. I do not move because I refuse to move for somebody else. I balk at him uh, because I'm going, oh, dear, here comes my life, but yet I don't see my life flashing before me, which means it was not warranted. It wasn't a death moment. It's just that per people who decide to react that way towards someone who's actually giving them legal warning have something very and truly deeply wrong with them. And he showed that to me when he was actually facing me with his truck I'll call it a forerunner because it looked like a forerunner a black one to boot um, 
he was dressed as a douche. I don't like using the word because douchebag means many things, but I'm, I'm officially calling this guy a douchebag because he decided to start yelling at me in front of me. With me facing him, with my sunglasses, my hat, looking at him like this. And having a smile on my face to boot, that, that didn't help matters. I had a smirk. He decides to bring his truck sideways, blocking my lane of traffic and the other lane of traffic. While yelling at me, uh, telling me in no explicit terms that he, I don't want to know who he is. And uh, I shouldn't give him reason for him to show me how badass he'll actually be on me. Well, the only thing I can tell you is this. In a car, I have no compunctions about causing violence, but if I ever meet the guy again in person, I will taunt him to the umpteenth degree to actually see if he's going to physically attack me. Then, if he kicks my ass, I'm pressing full charges and making sure that his life is put into a living hell. Either that, or I'll have some bigger, badder friends actually show up at his door and do something nastier to him. <laughs> Anyways, have a nice one.